All of us here remember two ballot questions placed before us in October 1991. The first question, should voters be given the right by legislation to vote between elections for the removal of their member of the Legislative Assembly? 81% said yes. The second question asked, should voters be given the right by legislation to propose questions that the government of British Columbia must submit to voters by referendum? 83% said yes. Now the enabling legislation for these two questions came from the Referendum Act of 1990. Now unfortunately, the results were only binding on the government which initiated the questions. Now, since the Socreds lost the 1991 election, it meant that the newly elected Harcourt government was not bound by the results. However, Premier Harcourt, both before and after the results of the vote were known, committed his government to honoring the people's democratic mandate. The Premier promptly appointed an all-party select standing committee chaired by MLA Eugel Desange, which after public hearings released a series of recommendations this past November. Now I think after reviewing the report, I thought our board member Mel Smith had the most apt summary. He's sitting in the front row here. He called the report indirect hypocrisy, not direct democracy. <laughs> now, <clears throat> uh, Rita Johnson is going to ask you to vote yes or no on recall. Are you going to vote yes or no? I've said that uh, if, if we want to have more accountability for our elected people uh, through referendums and through uh, recall of dishonest politicians, I think we should. And that's why I propose very specific measures such as the toughest conflict laws in Canada so that if a politician is elected and doesn't understand that they're there to serve the public interest, not to line their own pockets or give special deals for their friends and political insiders, they're gone. They're going to be bounced in a Mike Harcourt government. But will you implement? Will you implement uh, some mechanism for the people to to uh, I've got to, get on to, the bus now. to put recall? Yeah. To, to apply the recall. If well, most I've got people. To get on the bus now. Sorry. Can we see you again sometime? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. You have to so talk. I'd like to, to expand on that one. I wrote you a letter and uh, it's I wrote a very your... difficult one because it. Uh, that's why I can't deal with it in two minutes. That's all I've got. Okay. But if you can't deal with it further. Okay. I'll look for you. One of the things about our system of government is that, that it's a balance between representation of the, of, the, of the constituency and leadership. And I think you want, I think that uh, it's important for politicians and for governments to be able to take uh, gutsy leadership positions. So recall worries me a little bit yeah. in the sense that politicians would then become only agents of, uh, of popular will. Should, shouldn't that popular be the case? Well, yeah, obviously we yeah. have to represent. Yeah. Let, me, let me give you the other side of, yeah, uh, of, sure. of this uh, problem that you're presenting here. Uh, direct democracy is a form of democracy in which the people are empowered to initiate and enact laws independently of their elected legislatures. Well, I think recall means um, that politicians only cater to... Uh, uh, to, to sort of the emotion of the day. So I don't but think recall that means that, that every time a, an issue becomes prominent for a particular reason, uh, they might they might recall you and then and not look mm -hmm. at all of the issues of the day and all of the record of the politicians yeah. of the day. Yeah. And so I, I think you, uh, I, I think there has to be that tension, and I I think our British system uh, is good at that. Yeah. You know, people say to me, well, does he have the right? To uh, to do privatization, for example, uh, and they say, "Well, uh, the he British, was a, the British people, people uh, voted system. for him." I disagree with that. I fought against that. I continue to fight against that. But people have the right to make. They have the right to be wrong. Is another way of putting it. In my view, they're wrong, but they have that every right to do that. And I have great faith in people that they make those decisions. Parliamentary democracy is no longer working in Canada. Direct democracy is what the majority wants and the Reform Party of British Columbia is here to provide them with that kind of democracy. To advocate initiative, referendum, recall and accountable government, and to achieve our goals through peaceful, democratic means. If you remember the history of social credit in Canada, 
And you remember the Social Credit Party in Alberta and how they argued, Mr. Eberhard did, for referendums. They were successful in passing that legislation in Alberta. And as soon as Mr. Eberhard got elected, he abolished the referendum legislation. Give me a break. What, what do you think? People should have the right to recall their, we, their representatives? We do, we do not support the right of recall. Mm -hmm. um, and the reason that we don't is because it would logistically it becomes a very complicated and very difficult process. Even in the United States where they have the right of recall, it's been used mm -hmm. very infrequently. Uh, the time to recall a government is at election time. And with a fixed election day, people can clearly see that there are going to be times when in fact the government is going to have to, to face the people and are go is going to have to be under review. The time for them to recall and to reform government is now, is this fall, when there's an election. Mm -hmm. uh, and what we're saying as the Liberal Party is recall them both. Recall both sides of the House and let's put in something yeah. new, something fresh, and something more progressive. If people want recall, now's the time to put in something fresh. Here, yeah. you're saying elect something new, because the elections has a fixed term, as you were proposing before. Right. But the recall means that I give you my vote today, and maybe six months down the road, if you're not doing what you tell me you're going to mm -hmm, be doing, mm -hmm. I would have the right to go to the little machine, put my social insurance number in, pull my file out, and change my vote. That would be my right to recall. Well, and, force, you, and force a by-election. It's a very yeah. expensive proposition. I, uh, frankly, I don't think British Columbians can afford recall. Mm -hmm. um, it's a very expensive, very complicated, very difficult thing to do introduction of a mechanism that will provide that recall yes. if you're elected. Yes. Good. I want to congratulate Rita Johnson and those who impelled her, one of whom is with us today, to put on the ballot the two questions having to do with direct democracy in this province. But I thank her for doing that and it, in her short and uh, happy career as our First Lady Premier, uh, I'm sure that it will be the most notable thing that she will be remembered for in history, and I think it's a magnificent thing. Democracy, of course, as, uh, as our, uh, our first speaker said, is government of the people, is the empowerment of the people to form their government. 81% of uh, the voters during the elections said they want recall. And uh, I remember you saying, it's a good idea, and we should have that legislation. Are you uh, ready to introduce a bill that would propose uh, the establishment of the mechanism to bring about recall? Well, I think that that, that was an issue, really, that wasn't debated uh, during the campaign. And that's an issue where, really, nobody uh, took an issue with it. And you had a significant popul number of uh, section of the population that said yes for to recall, and a significant section that said no recall. Um, but I think that, that what you have to do is, uh, in the process of actually discussing a uh, constitution and the con forging of a new constitution, I'm personally coming to grips with the realities of electoral politics. And I think that all of the MLAs that have gone into the House uh, would agree that that issue uh, needs to be examined very thoroughly. And uh, I'm sure uh, that's going to come up in the next session, perhaps the session after. Are you going to bring it up? Oh, I, I as, a, as a member of my caucus, uh, would certainly address it in the caucus. Whether we as a government bring it up, obviously, then depends on the, co uh, the cabinet. Mm -hmm. But uh, I would uh, certainly, obviously, it's in the minds of all of us because uh, we've just been through the election. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And because 81% of the people voted yes. That's right. Yeah.